My name's Brendan Toskin. I'm an earth moving contractor in the Riverina, um, mainly around Darlington Point, Collie, Emily and Griffith. I've been an earth moving contractor for the last 32 years and we bought a new Collie Miller tandem laser bucket. This is our third Collie Miller bucket we bought. Uh, we're so happy with the product. The benefits of this unit, we're able to ship twice as much dirt in half the time with less manpower, just making things more efficient and better productivity out of the job site. The reason we bought a Collie Earth Mover is locally owned, um, stronger product than the competition, carrying capacity of around 22 cubic metres per bucket. Everything's better designed, ergonomic. We're getting seven and a half thousand hours out of a set of apron rollers with the Hayden Auto Greaser on the Collie Miller bucket. Everything just moves so well. I've had many buckets over my time as an earth mover and we cannot fault the Collie Miller Earth Mover 16 just for the reliability and the amount of volume we can shift with it. So this machine is very good for final grading. We have the ability to do two passes at the same time, set the back bucket about three or four mil lower. We're finding that holes are getting packed more as you're moving across the ground. We're not missing anything. And the finish of the job is way better than just running a single bucket. Efficiently, the clients are very happy having the extra pass over the paddock for a fraction more cost. When we bought the lead bucket, we've had the back end beefed up with extra plates for extra strength. The hookup is really easy to unhook. We can probably unhook the tandem bucket within about, about 15 minutes. The swivel with the five inch horizontal shaft and a four inch vertical, um, it's 100 mil longer than the competition swivel. So it allows us for greater, tighter turns. Getting in those tight spots is pretty hard, especially with a, something that's 27 metres long, a metre longer than a B-double. It's just, it's amazing how tight it can turn and get into those tight spots where normally you'd be unhooking just to run a single, just to do the tidy up work in the corners. The inline hitch, we have a 10 inch ram um, with dual accumulators. The cushions really nicely unloaded and loaded. With the inline hitch, we have sensors on the inline hitch. So when it lowers down, the proximity sensor switches on, lifts it up, hits the top switch, lowers back down. So we get cushioning as we're going over bumps. Um, as we're driving up and down, the ram cushions, fully loaded, it cushions more. Um, it basically takes the right shock out of the machine as you're driving along the paddock. You really don't notice it hooked up too much. It just makes life a lot easier and paddocks a lot smoother as you're traveling across them. The Hayden Auto Greaser, we have basically everything on the bucket is greased the way we've set it up. We've put, put a downforce valve in line. So the grease cartridge is here. We've run canister type. It's just easy for man handling. Um, the operators just basically leave these tubes out. When the runners run back in, you know the tubes are empty. You jump out, change a new set of tubes over, straight back in and straight into it. We're getting more productivity out of the machinery, having auto greases on everything, not having to stop every two hours, like recommended, to grease points. Just We find it a better system just for the longevity of the equipment. Every time we shut the apron, the whole bucket gets a grease. So when you're bulking and moving more dirt, everything's getting greased a lot more. When you're final grading, you don't have to worry about getting as much grease to the point. So it just basically cuts the grease use down. Grease is cheap as compared to breakdowns and downtimes in the industry. So the more time we're moving dirt, the less time we're breaking down is beneficial for my business. So the greaser runs main points there with two cartridges. The grease line runs around the bucket and we have individual injector points based near where we are with the short lines running to the equipment. Um, so that way if we do have any caught lines, we can just replace them fairly easily. Um, and continues on, everything is greased, every pin on the bucket, on the rams, everything gets greased. So we're getting maximum lubrication for everything. So here we've got the dual greasing lines, one on the apron ram, one on the roller itself. The roller, we're getting seven and a half to a thousand hours out of the rollers before they actually just wear a concave in the roller itself. Um, the tracks on the bucket are very ergonomic, like less strain on the rams as the apron shuts, as our competitor rams, they come down to here and then across. So there's more strain on the equipment, whereas this has been thought through and less effort on the rams, less stress on the equipment. Yeah, just an all round better build, I think. So we have another grease point here. Um, they do the rocker axle pins and bushes. Every time we shut the apron, the whole bucket gets a grease. They're all adjustable grease nipples. So you can actually dial them up from 0.06 of a cc up to 0.66 of a cc. You can dial it up or down depending on the amount of grease you need for each point. Um, same with the cross-leveler rams. 
everything gets greased. Locally made rams in at Hanwood at by Camden Lane. Um, no better quality for lift rams and bowl rams and cross leveler rams. When I ordered my Collie Miller tandem bucket, I ordered them with the floodlight setup, um, especially doing late hours at night. Just need the visibility around the machine. Being 27 metres long and turning into the dark, it's hard to sort of see where you are at night. With these floodlights, we find that it's very efficient, nice even spread around the vehicle. We have about six or seven metres of clear light around the outside of the equipment. So visibility is very important, especially when you're in paddock working by other machinery at night. The Collie Miller bucket, we have uh, bigger tyre sizes, bigger heavy duty hubs. We're finding the maintenance on these hubs and the wheel bearings, we're basically non-existent. We haven't done a wheel bearing in about 8,000 hours, like some of the hubs on the lead bucket, the original hubs. The ground clearance is higher than the competition. Bigger tyres, we get better flotation in softer ground as compared to the competition. So Collie Miller have the safety equipment here. We have the bowl chock over the point, pin back in place, and then you're good to hop in there and change your tyres or we'll do maintenance on the inside of the bowl where you need to. Around the side here, we have more bowl chocks. So we have the lift ram chocks, as well as the safety pin here for the apron if you're inside changing cutting edges. So on the Collie Miller bucket, we have the safety ladder um, for ease of access up to the mast. Um, in case we have to change GPS equipment or check cabling, um, cleaning lights, They've basically thought of everything with this equipment. So there's no slippage in wet weather or greasy or a cold morning. In the earth moving industry, we have a limited window of operation due to inclement weather. We find that the earth mover 16 with the minimum breakdowns and the reliability of the equipment gets us to where we need to do to finish our jobs for our clients. The servicing of the equipment, the reliability and the all round dealing with Collie Miller to purchase the equipment. We have not had a better experience anywhere else in 32 years. The main factor being locally owned and produced. The parts are all close by, made in Australia. We know the quality is brilliant, the service is brilliant, and I can't speak highly enough of them.